The Ventuk City Council, in its court papers, is demanding that Abraham Ganime repay about $6.8 million. He earned this money over the past three years, and the chief of the Ventuk City Police is not taking the news lying down. Lawyer Sisa Namanje, representing Kanime, told Judge Hanali Prince Lu that his client was planning to go on retirement when the then management council offered him a renewed employment contract for three years. The lawyer further accused former Nampol's Inspector General Sebastian Deitunga of allegedly instigating the council to refuse the reappointment of Kanime. Namanje also questioned the legality that a chief of the city police be appointed in consultation with the Inspector General of the Namibian Police. Describing the attempts by the city of Vinduk as sad, Namanje asked the court to dismiss with cost the city's bid to what he termed as restitution to be paid back by Kanime. He further argued that Kanime had worked on instruction of the city for the past three years and his contract will end in about two months. He added that it is unheard of that the city police chief would be expected to refund the money for work he has done. However, lawyer Patrick Gouda, representing the city of Vinduk, dismissed Namanja's arguments. Gouda stated that Kanime in 2020 tendered his resignation due to him being slapped with multiple and serious matters of discipline. Kanime stood accused of allegedly wrongfully and unlawfully using property and misappropriation of funds of the city. Gouda further informed the court that Kanime also faced charges of employing unqualified staff to the city police. His resignation, Gouda argued, was part of what he termed a diabolical plan to dodge these charges. He also told the court that the management committee at the time bypassed the then CEO Robert Kaimise's authority and appointed an acting CEO who approved the reappointment of Kanime. This, Gouda says, was unlawful. Abraham Kanime has been at the helm of the city police for more than 20 years. Judge Hanali Prince Lu postponed the matter for judgment to 29 May. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.